Now they will ask you two types of questions in this. Number one, uh, does the above series converge or diverge? And you've seen this. For those of you who have written Houting Department of Education, the national common paper, these types of questions came out. And the beauty part is, if these uh, series of shows were aired before the June exams, I think we would have seen a much greater improvement in mathematics results in grade 12. Because all these templates all came out in your June exam. Okay? Does the above series converge or diverge? And they ask you why. That's question number one, and that's only a two mark question. And question number two, find the sum to infinity. And that's worth another three marks. So two plus three will give you a total of five marks. There we go. Okay, that's the question. Let's go to our answer. Now, what did I tell you when I explained to you what is convergent and divergent when we did in our previous episodes? I said, to find out whether a series converges or diverges, very simple, just calculate R. Calculate your common ratio. Remember I said infinity only deals with geometric. It does not deal with arithmetic at all. So you just need to find out geometric. Calculate your R. So it only deals with R. So what is R? So to answer question number one, this is the answers. Answer to question number one. Does the above series converge or diverge? Let's calculate R. R is equal to, we can take term two divided by term one. So one divided by two. One over two, so R is equal to a half. We calculated R. What is R as an inequality? R is less than one, but greater than minus one. A half less than one, greater than minus one. So what is it? Does it converge or diverge? If R is a fraction, if R is a fraction, so I'm just going to put it here, uh, for convergent, if R must be a fraction, it will converge. For divergent, R will be a whole number. What do we have R to be? R is a fraction, so what does it do? It converges. Therefore, the series converges because r less than 1, greater than minus 1. And there we go, you get your first two marks. Calculate r, and then just say whether it converges or diverges, and you will answer it in the exam exactly the way we did it here. You can either do it like this, or you can calculate r to be a half, and now you can say, therefore, the series converges. That was the answer to your first part. Does it converge or diverge? Now let's answer why. Because r less than 1, greater than minus 1, a half less than 1, greater than minus 1. You calculated your r, r is a half, r is a fraction, it lies between negative 1 and 1, so therefore it must be a convergent. What does convergent mean again? As we add more and more terms, the sum will move towards a number. Okay, that's the answer to question number 1. Find the sum to infinity. Question number 2, s to infinity is equal to, for convergent, let's just go here to the side. For convergent, what is the formula for convergent? For convergent, s to infinity is equal to a over 1 minus r. Okay, so there we go, a over 1 minus r, we've got a over 1 minus r. So what is a? Your first term, 2 over 1 minus, what's your common ratio? Half, which is equal to 2 divided by 1 minus a half is a half, 2 divided by a half is 4. And there we go, our s to infinity, the sum to infinity is 4. Now again, sometimes they might ask you to do this part first, you'll get 4. Don't get confused if they ask you, does it converge or diverge? Don't look at that and say that is 4, therefore it diverges. No, you look at your common ratio. If r is less than 1 but greater than minus 1, it converges. Right? You look at your common ratio, you don't look at your sum. And boys and girls, that, that's bringing us now to the end of our first show. We will continue. Please stay tuned to, our, uh, to ITV for our next show. The next show is going to deal with more involved problems regarding infinity. And we're going to be continuing with paper 2, circle geometry, in our following, in our ep uh, 
preceding episodes. Remember, we still have finance to do. So just to wrap up our show, to remind the viewers of what we've done already, we've done quadratic equations, we've done inequalities, we've done calculus, we've done the whole of uh, functions, all the different types of functions, straight line, parabola, hyperbola, exponential, log, how to sketch, how to determine equations. We've also done sequences and series. We've also done analytics, circle analytics. We've done a little bit of tricks in our... Um, in our live shows but remember stay tuned to our following episodes we will still be coming to more detail grade 11 and 12 trigonometry